Hey everybody, this is A7X Fan Ben, and I'm just gonna get some fleets out for the 6x150 game that I'm gonna play starting either tomorrow or the next day here in September 2019. This is my British Union Jack box that I used to store my traveling collection most of the time. So I'm just gonna pop this open. So this is where I've stored the fleets, and here we go. So this is uh, not really the first look at the fleets. Maybe for some of them I revealed at least the first three. Um, in a video, that preview live stream video I did on YouTube. And I'm planning to go on Facebook Live in the Facebook group too for some of these. So anyway, so I'm just gonna start getting stuff out right away. Um, I kinda wanna do it by by fleet, but it's, it's sort of organized, but I just finished doing this last night. So this is kind of a first look at some of the fleets, I think, at least some of them. So the French fleet is gonna be headed by the Celtic Fury. So we've got that one there. And then the rest of the French are down in here. Le Pluton, the Saber, which has an epic setup. That's gonna be a lot of fun to use. This one uh, is a proxy. It's not the Sea Serpent, it's gonna be the Renard uh, Ailes. Uh, probably botching the pronunciation. That's from Return to Savage Shores. So I'm using an RTSS ship, two-masted junk. So, so that's gonna be cool. I wanna say I've probably used that ship before, maybe on Vassal, but Anyway, and then the fifth ship, or the other ship in the French fleet, one of my favorites. So, and then the deck plates are down there. I don't think I'm going to get those out in this video, but anyway. Like I've already talked about for this game, it's going to be totally um, full of, I guess you could say, spoilers. And there's just going to be, I basically am trying to document as much as possible of the game in video form. Uh, rather than just doing a big text and picture battle report after the game is totally over. I'm going to do the complete opposite and try to document a lot of it as I go along and just make a lot of random content around the game in general. So this is my Bouchuan. So that's part of the Jade Viking fleet. So that's another reveal we got right here. So the Jades and the Vikings are teaming up and they've only got four ships. The Bouchuan I think is maxed out on points. So she's taking up 60 out of the 150 points. And then we're going to have three, three masted longships. So you can see the Mune in there. I picked some of their best uh, longships out. And then they've got the Nagling, which is devastating. She's got all two L cannons. So three three masters along with the Bouchwans. So that's going to be a unique fleet. A ten master and then three powerful longships. So I think every ship in the fleet has a captain, I believe. And then we've got the Asgard here for their final three masted longship. So that's the Jade Vikings. And I'm going to be using a waterfall in this game for the first time. So basically I've got um, some kind of bed board. And then I've got one card table on top of that. And then the other card table is probably about three inches lower. Um, almost the height of a 10 mast though. So it's going to be pretty sweet. I've got custom rules for that, which I'll talk about. Or at least they'll be in the battle report for sure. So it's going to be exciting. And then... Might as well do the curse next. You can see more 10 masters. This is like 10 masters galore in this game. So the Shui Jian is actually a proxy though. I'm using a custom 10 master in the English mercenary fleet, which is probably the most exciting fleet I'm using. Well, that's very debatable actually. I think I'm, I'm very excited about all six of these fleets. So the Guichuan, I got this one broken in eBay lot, but it was totally worth it. Props to God Mason for alerting me to that. It was amazing. It's like 50 bucks, but then I got a ton of other stuff too. So, so pretty sweet. So the Guichuan, I'm gonna put her up there for now. And then they've got the Delusion as well. So the Cursed are using two 10 Masters in the same fleet. They're using both of their 10s. So it's gonna get wild. And this is a game where I'm using a lot of house rules. If you saw the preview video, I'm using points in play plus gold for the win. Or, or for the win, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, but yeah, I'm using wind rules as well. Uh, as you kind of could tell there, getting ahead of myself. The Sea Rat is going to be their main gold runner. It's got the home island rating ability too, which should be fun. I'm going to do round earth. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do round earth everywhere. I thought about doing only round earth like from north to south uh, to try to make the waterfall more important. But I think I'm just going to do it in general, even though it doesn't make any sense. So... Round Earth is a lot of fun and almost always worth using. Usually it's worth using. So now I'm going to get a few of the deck plates out. 
probably not going to do too much more right now because this is going to become a mess with the with the crew chips falling through some of the 10 master deck plates i just wanted to store everything in here because i've i've spent a lot of time on this game already because I, I created the fleets in august or well some of them were already created and then and then that month i got most of this box done and then last night i finished this box i think it was last night so anyway but yeah you can do a little preview so tonight i'm gonna set these up somewhere i think i'm gonna have a few on the edge of the table there and then i've got another spot to my left where there's going to be some other fleets so i'm probably going to do three and three um there's a chance i'm going to roll for turn order before i place them but that might be tricky because so, i'd have to do that like really soon i might do that in the next video which i'll make soon so anyway so i think these it must i think these are the full crew setups for these viking longships so i don't have viking captains and helmsmen really looks like i don't have any of either maybe so <laughs> So I'm just using my paper crew chips. So Ethan, the far seeker on the Munin, he allows you to ignore terrain um, and stuff. And I guess he's an X, S explorer too, I guess. Anyway, so the Nagling, she's got Captain Helms, the Norseman, and then Olaf Lindstrom is a Marine. So she's going to have seven rank two cannons, basically, with the Marine. So that's pretty cool. And then got a full setup on the Asgard with Shayna and Sigurd. So he's got Sigurd Anderson's got the AA ability, Admiral's action, roll of six, any ship near fleet gets two actions, and then Shayna's got reroll, which is perfect for that ability. So Vikings are looking good. That fleet might struggle to get gold, uh, but the Bouchwan, as you can see there, has Dragon Eyes aboard. So that might be one way for them to get gold. And of course, the treasure ship. The Bouchwan is, is their main hope to win the game, pretty much. And she is the focus of the fleet, but then you've got three powerful longships backing her up so hopefully that'll work well i think just for kicks to have it on video i'm just gonna see if i can take this out without dropping any crew chips and then finding a spot for it nice all right that's fine so i still gotta reorganize it but that's a pretty good start so i got the cursed here yeah it's a little harder with one hand because i'm trying to show it on the camera as I'm lifting it, so I don't know where to put it yet. So, what I think I'm gonna do, I got my tripod here too, so I, what I wanna do at least a little bit, it might be tricky to show things properly, but I wanna try to record with my camera on the tripod as I'm also streaming live in the Facebook group with my phone in my hand, and then I'll still have another hand to actually do stuff with, so. <laughs> so that might be a thing a little bit, at least I'm gonna try. No promises, but, and the, the Guichuan is here at the bottom of the box, so it might be tough to extract this deck plate. So, yeah, I've already lost a crew, so probably just going to lose more. Ooh, I got it. Ooh, that's a tricky one. All right, nice. And then, <laughs> so, yeah, the Guichuan was so used that it, I guess it didn't come with the Headhunter's actual crew chip. Um... You can tell the color is different there. It's the same picture, but basically my Guichuan didn't come with a headhunter from DJC, so I'm using the South China Seas Pirate one as a kind of kind of a semi-proxy, I guess. Um, but anyway, so because he has to be aboard the Guichuan per the the treasure ship keyword. So crazy setup on the Guichuan. Um, I'm trying to even remember how all this works. This is going to be crazy. This is epic. So Cavendish allows crew of any nationality. So this is actually, this is another proxy. Uh, this is not the pirate version. So there's another fleet. The Golden Cranes fleet is also using the Viking version of Grim the Savage, who has the Home Island Horde ability, as I call it. So if you dock an enemy Home Island, you can load as much treasure as the ship can carry. So that's actually this version of Grim the Savage He's as a proxy. So there's going to be two versions of... FN, Frozen North, Grim the Savage in the game. So it's going to be, it should be really exciting. And then, to make it even crazier, Bianco's Haulers come aboard. So that, these are the version from Savage Shores, which allows you to not be shot at while docked. So the Guichuan with Treasure Ship, she's going to have, I guess with the Lynx, she might have as many as nine cargo spaces open, I believe. Because Sammy Hempstein and Skull links to all cursed ships, and then the head under links to the Guichuan. So... She might have nine open cargo spaces 
to use with Grim the Savage's Home Island Horde ability. And then once she docks at an enemy Home Island, Bianco's Hollers prevents her from getting shot at while she's docked. So this is a this is actually a setup or a, a setup similar to when I used against Xerix in a 200 point Water World game, uh, which I was able to pull off somehow. One of the luckiest games I've ever played, without a doubt. So anyway, so that's it for this video. I'm gonna continue on Facebook and with more videos. So this is a little just getting the fleets out for the six by one fifty six fleets at a hundred and fifty point game, which is the my main game here of 2019. So thanks for checking it out and uh, stay tuned for the game.